The ruling is the first in a series of cases brought against the 76-year-old Nobel laureate since the army seized power in February, blocking her National League for Democracy party from starting a second term in office. The legal office said Suchi received two years in prison on each of the two charges. A spokesperson for the group that coordinates opposition to Myanmar's military rulers said the country's verdict on ousted leader Aung San Suu Kyi was an act of treason on the part of the generals. Myanmar's military junta has sought to restrict information about the trials which have been closed to the public. Today we saw the verdict, which is all premeditated, premeditated, and found charges without proof, without evidence, uh, no truth, and it's all fabricated lies that they brought and charges against our associate state councillor and our president. So it has nothing to do with the rule of law. A human rights watchdog condemned a guilty verdict and four-year sentence against Aung San Suu Kyi. Almost a dozen charges that add up to combine maximum sentences of more than 100 years. Our view, really no doubt that she was going to be convicted. It, the question is just how many years was she going to get? And, you know, getting four to start with uh, through this mixture of this incitement charge and the charge about uh, public health and COVID re regulations you know, as a pretty uh, bad indication that the more severe charges that are coming against her are going to uh, keep her in prison for a very, very long time. Yang He Lee, the member of the Special Advisory Council for Myanmar, said the country didn't have an independent judiciary, making all trial unfair. Sakem will be coming out with a strong statement for the international community to do something. But, you know, what, can the, what will the international community do? Uh, I think the people of Myanmar have lost hope in the United Nations and its member states, and to a certain degree, um, ASEAN countries as well. But this uh, itself is a, a testament to how the international community is uh, really not on, on board with uh, what is really happening in, in Myanmar. Suchi will face verdicts on other charges as early as next week. Previously, she has rejected all allegations and her supporters say the charges against her are political. The Monday's court didn't make clear whether Suchi could be sent to prison for two convictions or placed under house arrest. In her long struggle for democracy, she has served 15 years of house arrest since 1989.